Yeah, I love this cha this chapter casually. It might be one of the hardest for me when I played it back in the day for the first time. Because you pretty much start without weapons. And then like you get the tome and the game gives you the revolver. But bone thieves are pretty much your only enemies. And they just dodge the, the bullets in general. Like there's way to make to avoid that. But when you play the game for the first time you have no idea about that. Yeah. Yeah, it makes things pretty hard. Like you on pretty much any chapter you start with weapons. I guess the only exception would be Edward. But you can get the saber pretty fast and before the No. No. Oh my god. It's so slow. So I think right, right there, we use a standing animation, which is Peter reloading the camera pan, the camera uh, flash, I mean. And if you do a no magic message while you do that, you can then trigger another no magic message in the next room. <laughs> because you have a couple frames before the cutscene activates. And when you do that, you can walk in the cutscene of the nurse. And then there, there's a like a seven frames trick that allows me to skip the dead animation of the trapper. If I get it too late, nothing happens, just triggers normally. If I get it too early, I lose my magic. We got double steps. I didn't turn off the lights. Sucks. Whatever. There's gonna be better moments for that. Finally! Yeah, I also like my, uh, Michael very much. I think Michael and Kareem are my favorites. Karimi is definitely the most fun in speedrun, I think. But there's there's like something very very cool casually in Michael. Just having that stupid machine gun, it's so satisfying. I kind of like that developers just get away with that because it's like the last chapter before Alex. So they just get away with that and let's just give the players a fucking machine gun with a grenade launcher. Why not? See, I'm shooting a lot of doors. That's because that skips the animation of turning around on the next room. So it gives me an easier time navigating on some rooms. 
And also, I get rid of bullets faster. And that allows me to do this without bullets, which is also faster. Okay, we got the sanity we need. Because I do need a little more. I mean, a little bit for the zombie. Menu seems like a very hard thing to do quickly. Yeah. Menu might be one of the hardest part of etern running Eternal Darkness. Like optimizing my menu, I mean. The amount of time you can lose on just menuing, it's kind of crazy. Go. First try. Nice. And that was how I came back. And I'm good with that. I'm not running that again. Because that was pretty good. No bad sanity effects. Got the trapper. I got the um, spelling cutscene during the window cutscene. The only thing I it was kind of uh, kind of bad, kind of sloppy, was the first assignment. That was kind of slow. But pretty good. And I got the local recording. Very important. Karim is the most baddest character in the game. Yeah, I agree with that. Then a drink, perhaps. Was there new stuff discovered recently? And that's why all your individual levels are over 30 seconds quicker. Uh, not exactly recently. Uh, but since I did my last individual levels, there is a lot of new stuff. Pretty much new stuff on every single chapter. Uh, and that's why. <laughs> 